The psychochemicals, or K agents, being developed by the chemical core comprise a new family of incapacitating agents. These non-lethal chemicals have an astonishing capacity to cause abnormal behavior in man and animals. In laboratory experiments, a normal cat displays the typical hunter instinct toward a mouse. A minute quantity of lysergic acid diethylamide LSD is administered in aerosol form. This chemical begins to react on the brain and after 45 seconds, the effects of the psychochemical become apparent. The cat is no longer interested in catching the mouse and in fact appears to be afraid of it. Just a small quantity of LSD is sufficient to upset the normal physical and emotional behavior pattern. To observe the effects of the psychochemical on humans, enlisted volunteers were asked to take part in a carefully controlled test. Prior to the test, the men behaved in a well-disciplined manner, responding promptly to commands and executing movements with precision. During a break, each of the volunteers, except the drill sergeant, received a minute dose of the psychochemical in coffee, and about 30 minutes later, the squad was ordered to fall in. Now the response of the men is entirely different. They have ceased to be alert, but have become relaxed and carefree. They cannot control the impulse to laugh, and they no longer behave like well-disciplined troops. The drill sergeant has not received any of the psychochemical, and he issues commands as before. But the response of the men is sluggish, and their movements ragged. They have become confused, irrational, and uncontrollable. Seeing the effects of this chemical compound, it is not difficult to imagine the havoc that could be created among weapons crews and command headquarters in time of war. In the continuing search for incapacitating agents, the chemical warfare laboratories are investigating a great many chemical compounds. One of these, CS4640, is of particular interest as a potential incapacitator. A very small amount of this compound produces partial paralysis in laboratory animals. The amount required is indicated in this comparison with an ordinary aspirin tablet. The two dogs to be used in this test have been exposed to effective doses of the chemical in previous tests and have always recovered completely. A dilute solution of CS4640 is prepared for use in creating an aerosol of the chemical in an exposure chamber. Although exposure to the aerosol for about 30 seconds is sufficient for the chemical to take effect, in this test, the dogs will breathe the aerosol for one minute. Exposure began at 0900 hours. In numerous experiments, temporary paralysis has been produced in a variety of laboratory animals. Mice, rats, guinea pigs, rabbits, cats, dogs, goats and monkeys. After one minute, the dogs were removed from the exposure chamber. On animals, the effect of a small dose of CS4640 is similar to that of a very much larger dose of morphine. It paralyzes the skeletal muscles. Depending on the size of the dose in relation to the weight of the animal, the paralysis can be made to last from one to several hours. About 10 minutes after the chemical had taken full effect, the black dog was given an injection of an antidote. A couple of minutes later, the paralysis had disappeared and the black dog was normal again. Without treatment, the other dog remained paralyzed. The paralysis produced by the exposure to CS4640 for one minute lasted one hour, after which the brown dog recovered. This incapacitating chemical compound is still in the research stage, and no data 
are yet available as to its effects on humans.